Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Fool's Journey reading. This is up for debate as far as whether it's kind of a yearly thematic thing, like you're kind of going to be moving through this through the year, or if it's just a situational that you just got out of. Some of these have been feeling like it's situational for the month of January, and then others feel like, okay, this is going to be a theme for you for the year. So we shall see. Uh, anyway, hi, welcome to your Fool's Journey reading. Uh, this is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Check the description box below to see what else you need to know about this reading, including the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Love and Abundance Tarot. Love and support to him. Check him out. Show him some love and support. All right, let's do this, Aquarius. The Fool. Well, okay then. So this is a uh, <laughs> taking a leap of faith, taking a new journey, new beginning, new adventure. What's going on here? Aquarius. Page of Pentacles. Oopsie. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Queen of Swords. That could be Libra. Eight of Swords. This could be Taurus. Oopsie. Yay, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So let me get the little guys here. Let's see. All right, what's this, what's this Queen of Swords about? Ten of Swords, what's this Eight of Pentacles about? Is that the Queen? Yeah, that's the Queen. That could be Libra. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Strength, Ooh, two eights, interesting. So are is this you forging a new path for yourself? Are you in separation or by yourself and you're just like, you know what, I'm kind of seeing things differently now. Or did you just learn some new information that led to a separation with someone? It's this Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. This is Five of Cups. Okay, High Priestess. What's this Eight of Swords? The Ace of Wands. Okay. This nine of pentacles. All right. You, no, no Aquarius. No. This, there's too much uncertainty here. You need to go with your gut, with what your intuition is telling you, and you need to stay in separation. This, whatever you information you have just found out, um, this is about not giving this person a second chance, even though they want it, even though they're coming back in, even though they're promising this and saying that and no, no. The the instability or the um just the lack of stability. Uh uh. But okay, but why though? Like, why is that? So we got the ten of swords and the ten of cups. So is oh. I think what it is, Aquarius, is I think you're kind of tired of having to be the stable one in the relationship. And I think for the Aquarius that I'm reading for, I feel like this person um, messes up and they're sorry for it, but they don't know why they mess up. And you two have quite the connection here, but it's, it's taken its toll. This person's lack of stability and lack of reliability and lack of everything, you're just like, you know what, I got a connection or not, I can't. I can't keep doing this. 
We have this over here, which is great, but we can't have this without this. Like the cost is starting to become greater than the payoff here. And for the Aquarians that I'm reading for, this has to be a very cerebral uh, decision for you because if you go based on your emotions, you're gonna waffle because you care for this person and they care for you and they, they don't want this, but it's just, it's, okay. Yeah, what's, what else for Aquarius? You have had your time with this person. If, if the, at the very minimum, you are at the crossroads, you know what you know, you can't not know what you know. You have enough evidence now that this is based on fact. Things have changed, your feelings have changed. You still care, you still have this connection, but if someone is not gonna be reliable or into it, or if they just can't, then they just can't. And you can't change that they just can't. For the Aquarians that I'm reading for, you value very much your stability and independence and things being as they should be. You're all about spontaneity and, but if someone is, if, if they don't have their business together, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's different. Spontaneity can happen because everything else is in order and we've got time for spontaneity. I know that's not the definition of it, but that's your idea of it for the Aquarians that I'm reading for. This person, is different than that. This is kind of unbridled chaos. This is someone that doesn't have any part of their life kind of going in the same direction or um, in a productive matter or in a stable matter. There's, this person's just kind of, for lack of a better way to put it, and I know it's derogatory because I don't think they mean to be, but they're kind of a mess. And that's, it's creating, it's starting to tip the scales. Um, and it's, it's almost like, you know, it's about, deciding very civilly and just being like, okay, not, not civilly, sorry. You probably initiating and starting that conversation that we need to, this it's, we can't because I, as my, I am up for adventure as much as the next person. This is what you're telling your person, but I can't be bombarded by constant upheaval and upset. That's very different than being spontaneous and being adventurous. And that's the thing is that it might have been kind of fun and fresh at first, but then you realize this is kind of a pattern with this person. Like they, they, this is someone that's not really either interested or just can't. And I'm not going to have that around the kids or I, that's going to be, un, you know, I can't have that with me trying to work and things like that. Like this is, so you coming off of this, this is not the time to, um, no. And they, they're going to come back in. This is turning into the harsh truth reading, but this is thematic. I feel like this is thematic. You've been, for the Aquarians I'm reading for, you've been dealing with someone kind of coming back in and trying to make a go of it for a while and you need to stand down. This, <laughs> your your higher self's coming in going, don't do it, don't do it. This is not about you fixing it or, this is, it, no, and I, you know what, and I hate to say this because I'm all about, you know, people change and grow and all that, but second chances, but I, I feel like this is not even about giving someone time or giving someone counsel. I think this needs to be kind of, honestly, Aquarius, a one-sided conversation where you say, dit, 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 dit. and it has to be that way. You can't keep having this person coming in with this frantic sense of urgency and, and whipping things up and then they're gone again and then things way too much instability way too much what else for Aquarius your path or your journey with this person has ended it needs to end you you simply you don't want what you used to want anymore you've changed this has changed you you've learned a lot but that's you are got about all you can learn from this person what else for Aquarius this in it <laughs> spoiler alert co-create with spirit okay um, this also is, it looks like you're kind you're not mad about it. You know, it could have been different. It could have been if the person could stay the course. And that's what was missing was that underlying stability. Someone methodically, at least putting effort in and trying to work towards something or interested in that, but they're not, it's kind of like. They're, you know, here they are and you're wanting to have a mature relationship 
with somebody like this that, that's kind of messy. And you don't want, for the Aquarians that I'm reading for, you don't want messy. So this is not going to work for you. And it's almost like you're feeling like, you know what, I'm glad because I'm just, I need to get back to basics. I need to get back to my life. And you find it very grounding and very liberating. And actually your solitude and solace is preferred. It's It doesn't seem like you're really upset about this. Honestly, it, it seems like you're kind of like, you know, it's time. Our time has come to an end. My journey with you, my path with you, whatever you want to call it. But th this, you're, you're transforming. You don't want the same thing you used to want when you were first with this person. This is about looking to the future and like, okay, what's next? What are we doing now? Where are we going? Co-create with spirit. All right. What do we want to do next? <laughs> because it's not going to ever get any... In, in this situation, this scenario, it's not, um, it's just going to be more the same. It's just going to be lather, rinse, and repeat with this person. It's, you're done. It's come to an end. Well, okay, on that note, then, let's see what's next. What's next for Aquarius, then? If we're done, what's next? Aquarius. What's next for Aquarius? Oh, good times. Finding your tribe, dating, having fun, going out, doing what you want to do when you want to do it, being un um, encumbered, like not like being able to be carefree. Oh, that'd be nice, huh? Not having to worry about. Well, when the next kind of someone crashing into your space is going to be. This is. A return to happiness and friendship and fun and a new start and a new beginning and being excited about that and being happy and and getting back to basics and being able to focus on yourself that you you're on the right track you're <laughs> your higher self's going yes do nothing yes yes do nothing do not entertain a a new start with this person your new start is with you and among your tribe and any new starts are not about anything with being serious or committed. Or you need a break. So this you're going to be having fun and you're going to take it day by day. And as it comes, this is not about jumping right into another relationship. Any kind of stability that you find is going to be what you provide for yourself and you do it happily. So um, you really are kind of done with this whole dynamic. This could be a theme for the year. I just hate if it takes that long for it to play out for you. But I feel like this is kind of just a January thing. You're like, I'm done, done. I'm good. I got it. I got the lesson. I, I know that our time is now done. I realize that now. I'm good. You're not emotional about it. It's time. This is time. It, it is time to end. What else for Aquarius? Page of Wands. Okay. Page of Wands and Four of Wands reversed. This, yeah, that's kind of the dynamic. This is someone that just couldn't, that very Page of Wands-ish, very scattered energy. Stop, start, stop, start. A lot of fun, but then a lot of lows too. Like this is someone that's kind of that unbridled, there's kind of, there's no uh, filter <laughs> and there's no sense of, well, I want to say maturity. I am not finding the right word, but this is someone that kind of needs a handler. They're a lot of fun, but they need a handler. And it doesn't make for a very communal relationship. Okay, Aquarius, you you get to getting because you got more coming, a lot more fun and more happiness. And it's like you've been set free and you get to be... You get to go find your tribe. You get to be around your tribe. It just it feels like things just lighten considerably. Okay, all right. I thank you for stopping by, Aquarius. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you know that you're on the right path. Um, you keep doing what you're doing. Spirit has your back. Love and support to you, and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.